That was Ben from Shades of Green Permaculture showing us the 50 PSI that we're getting out of our spring. That water is coming from this 3,000 gallon tank, which is about 50 feet down the valley from the spring box that we've shown in an earlier video. But now they're putting the finish coat on it to protect it from UV. The tank lasts longer, but it also protects the water from raising temperature, which has a negative impact on the water in here, which is potable water. This is the water that the homeowners will drink. Other cisterns that are collecting rainwater, which we'll show in later videos, benefit from heating up by the sun. The finish they're putting on is a stucco finish. It's got a, it's uh, reinforced with fiberglass. It's on a metal lath. Behind the metal lath is, is the rain screen. Stucco is a reservoir cladding. Without that gap, you don't have the ventilation so that the water can either dry to the outside, dry to the inside. If it dries to the inside, it has a place to go. Most stuccos are applied directly to, say, building paper or other substrates with a metal lath, but there's no gap. So if the, if the sun is beating down on that reservoir cladding, it's driving the moisture in and the moisture has nowhere to go. Uh, you can also do a double double layer of building paper. Essentially what happens is that outer layer of the, the double layer of building paper will disintegrate and create a gap. So that water drives in, holds it up against that outer layer, and then would, would, would uh, disintegrate it and allow that sort of that rain screen. But having a rain screen, a dedicated rain screen from the start is, is really a best practice. If you look through the uh, the metal lath here, this says Slicker. It's a, it's a Slicker Max product by a company out of uh, Pennsylvania called Benjamin Obdike. They make several rain screen products and other weather resistive barriers. Uh, they do a lot of good research and good training on their website. This is their Slicker Max. It has a, you can see a geotextile fabric is, is the first layer and then behind that is it's a polypropylene mesh. You can see its ridges. That goes up against the tank or the building substrate. And then you put your wire mesh on this on the outside here, and then you apply your stucco. This is the top of the tank that was done yesterday. With that stucco on there, this tank will be protected for at least 100 years. That's what you want when you're trying to build something to last forever. You go with practices and techniques that will last the test of time. You think of rain screens, you think of the exposure of the materials, the science behind the materials, what they're made of, how well they hold up to different conditions. Not every product is made for every condition, so it's good to know before you before you build. That tank's gonna look pretty good. It's gonna be there a long, long time. We have two more of these that are gonna be stuccoed like this, and then we have three other tanks that will not be stuccoed because they're collecting our rainwater, so they're not the stucco's not needed. That's it from the off-grid homestead today. See you next time.